vegetation or trees are almost always the number one cause of electric service interruptions across North America. So one of the main reasons we do vegetation management is to try to try to mitigate or reduce the threat of vegetation in terms of causing outages and having people out of power. The advantage to LIDAR is we can pinpoint precisely, identify in a surgical fashion which trees truly are a threat, go after those and leave the other ones alone, which has saved us millions in terms of managing this hazard tree threat. LIDAR is a remote sensing technology and essentially uh, it enables you to create a three-dimensional point cloud of the right-of-way, the facilities in that right-of-way, adjacent vegetation, any other objects that are essentially in, that, in the LIDAR's path. And how it's done is it's, a, it's typically an integrated pod that is attached to the bottom of a helicopter. You're going to have usually at least two high-resolution cameras on there as well, so you're getting some really good imagery of the right-of-way, the facilities, and the vegetation as the helicopter's flying along. And the helicopter can typically survey about 100 miles of right-of-way in a day. One of the things that we've demonstrated is that you can recycle that data for many different uses. And we're constantly kind of finding different ways to use that same set of data that was collected in one pass. Vegetation management's been around ever since there's been overhead lines. There's certainly been improvements in the equipment and the tools to do the work, but essentially you're still pruning trees, you're removing trees. So that part of the work really hasn't changed a lot over the last century. However, um, remote sensing technologies like LIDAR and taking a more geospatial approach to the work has, has really been a game changer for us in the last five years.